guys, if you're like me and you're a pretty experienced bushcrafter, carrying a big backpack is often very unattractive. For one, it's a lot of weight to weigh you down, and two, you get to a point when you're out bushcrafting and when you have the experience that you don't really need a lot of gear. So today, I'm going to be taking you guys over my kit that I use when I go out and bushcraft and I don't want to carry some large pack that has a lot of equipment in it. This is the basics to what I carry all the time, but this is also my minimalistic equipment for just being out here. And the gear that I carry, while not much, allows me to do many different tasks and do them effectively. So without any further ado, let's jump into my minimalist hey guys. So let's start breaking my minimalist soloist kit down. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the most vague part of this, just kidding, but um, the most variable part of this, and that is the knife. Now, I love and very much favor the CRK Pacific, but there are times when I realize that I wanna keep my skills proficient with multiple knives. So I've broken it down into four knives, at least for this video that you guys will see. I'm gonna roll them all in. And these are the, th the four knives, this one in particular being the Topps Fieldcraft, but we also have the Topps Tracker, the CRK Pacific, and the Cold Steel SRK. And these are all really great knives. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with many of the survival knife options out there on the market today, but these are some of my top four. So, like I said, this one in particular is the Topps Fieldcraft, but I have many, many options. Okay, and probably going the complete 180 degrees is the least variable of them all, and this is the firearms. Now this, of course, for you guys who know, is a Smith & Wesson Model 29. Of course, it is loaded because we're out in bear country, so it is loaded, but this is a 44 Magnum, and it's pretty basic, pretty straightforward, and it works, and it's awesome. So, Smith & Wesson Model 29 in 44 Magnum. Okay, and next up on the list is a really basic multi-tool. This is a Charge Plus, and I like having some form of multi-tool. This one just is what's on me today, and it works very well for doing just a whole bunch of different tasks. So I like to have a multi-tool thrown in there. And, and next to that multi-tool, or not so much next to it because it's on one of my pockets, but the next tool is my Baco Laplander. This thing is an incredible little saw. It's very small, very tiny. It seriously fits in my cargo pocket. You guys may have not even noticed that I was even carrying this thing. However, it's a nice tool, and for its small size, it gets a lot of work done. And that's why it sits with me, and that's why I carry it. And lastly is a fun return. Now, you guys will know that I had a PSK that was a little bit more comprehensive than my good old Janus Maxpedition Janus uh, pack. However, I didn't ever quite like how large it was, and I felt like I carried too much gear always with that kit. So I went back to the Janus, went back to the classic old uh, PSK, and I updated it just a little bit. Now obviously you guys can see right here is a modded uh, life straw, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover this particular item in another video, but it's rigged on to the Janus to give me instant water purification or just the ability to kind of sip water and go without much concern of the source of the water. Then I have a first aid kit, a really light first aid kit, just in this little kind of slip pouch here, but it's kept really nice and tight in there. It's a nice tight fit. And then going into it, I just have a whole bunch of different things. Everything from live fire to a nice little uh, Maritac lighter, I have ferro rod matches, I have a couple mylar blankets, you know, cliff bars, just a really a whole bunch of different things, a whistle, and some other stuff that's, you know, pretty important for survival and practicing survival. It's also a really good kit to have just as a fail safe in case anything actually happens and I have to actually use this equipment in a real life survival situation. And as always, I have a rock, a nice IR resistant or IR and like invisible to infrared American flag on here. So just kind of adds to the level of coolness, in my opinion, that this Maxpedition Janus Versapack 
has. So anyways, guys, that is the basics to my minimalist kit. There's really not much more to it other than maybe this G-Shock, but that's for another video too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick look at my minimalist kit. And this is a lot of times why I wanted to do this video is because a lot of times this is what ends up becoming what I really carry. Because like I said, I love my Mystery Ranch Crew Cab. It is an amazing backpack. However, a lot of times I find it little bit cumbersome and burdensome to bring this really big backpack along especially when I know that I'm not really going to be using it so if I just want to go out for a day and practice survival skills or bushcrafting skills or just get better at what I already know that's when this kit largely comes into play so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully you'll stick around to see the life straw mod video I did a couple different things interesting things to this life straw that you'll probably want to check out. So anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.